gates. Flat 56. Welcome to anti-corruption. This will be good for me. It wasn't your fault, son. Hit and run. Bios? Because we've got a big sign over our heads saying CID, dump your crap here. I'm sick of CID. I want to join TO20, sir. I hit something. What did you hit? A dog. You killed a man. Oh, my God. Finger amputations are clean. It was 10 minutes. 15 tops before the next turn clock's on. It's big, it's sexy. It makes it mine, Kate. We're gonna get Gates with or without you, Steve. I thought you found your level, Arnold. Nobody pleased me. Didn't know AC-12 used undercover officers. I would have been risking what I'm risking if I didn't believe Gates was a special case. Mr. Patel was an accountant for Laverty Holdings. Maybe you're clean. Looks like you're dirty after all. You take a shot at the king. Make sure you kill him, son. Looks like there's still a turd on the driver's seat. Let's tell the boss he's here. In a minute. DS Arna. DCI Gates asked me to escort you into the building. So. Why? Tony Gates. Best detective in the city. You. See someone getting results, and you have to bring him down. You're safe then. I never worked hard enough. Tony Gates has. Because he cares about solving crime. You done? I haven't finished my smoke yet. Shall we get a move on? Bollocks. Still a bit in the butt, huh? Right, mate. DCI Gates, I bear a signed action assigning me access to TO20 files. You're a bean counter. How does that feel? Briefing room, please. Okay, Greek Lane. Two unidentified IC6 males, amputated fingers. Fingers were cut off while these lads were still alive, most likely with bolt cutters, and most likely to extract information. But given the finger count, looks like these boys didn't have very much to say. Yeah, they gave the murderer the finger. You yeah, 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was a warning. Well, it worked on these two. Right. Known dealer, Wesley Duke. Seen ingressing and egressing the dwelling. The house became the subject of a surveillance op. And we're assuming that the offenders broke in via the window, the 15-minute window between Deepak and Dot leaving and the next shift arriving. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Tom. Very sorry, sir. Yeah, if we'd have stayed, we'd have gone over the hour. Yeah, they're all over us about overtime, boss. So we make it up by nicking whoever did it, right? Cheers, Tom. Well, all this makes Wesley Duke our principal lead. Worth bringing him in? Oh, I've already had uniform pick him up. Interview room one. Sir, I hope it's OK, but I'm just going to go over our caseload. Knock yourself out. Just be a minute, shall I? I don't mind, mate.
Interview under caution of Wesley Duke by Detective Chief Inspector Anthony Gates in the presence of Wesley... Solicitor Ms Byrne. You both had the benefit of... Disclosure? So you were aware... ...that we have evidence that Wesley was a frequent visitor at that house on Greek Lane. Tell me what you were buying. Hard food? White boy? Yeah, I was just buying some DVDs. I see. So you would take some DVDs and then come back the next night and what, borrow some more? That's correct. You had disclosure of evidence and four hours. And this is the story you've caught up. All right? I would be very disappointed if you couldn't tell me the titles of some of those DVDs. Iron Man 2, Kick Ass, Piranha 3D, except Night in 3D. Yeah, all right, Wesley, well done. But what I really want to know is those lads who were lending the DVDs, who were they? And where were they getting the DVDs from? There were some lads that was into DVDs in there. thing is, Wesley, those lads were brutally murdered, and you are the only person that we can connect to that house. And that, as they say, makes you the prime suspect. Mr. Duke had nothing to do with the murder, and you know it. Wesley, where were you? Between the hours of 11 p.m. on Wednesday the 4th and 6 a.m. on Thursday the 5th. No coming. No alibi offered at first interview. My line of inquiries? They're going to hit you like a steamroller if you don't stop feeding me this pack of pork. My client strenuously denies the allegation. You have no forensic evidence as per disclosure. This is going to be a compensation claim for wrongful arrest. Of himself. Okay. Interview terminated. Thank you very much, President. You have been a great help. What do you mean by that? And as a token of our gratitude for the information you've provided, I'm going to have you returned home in a marked police car. And then he's going to thank you warmly in front of the whole estate. Then I'm going to get our community policing operations to make a blatant point of turning a blind eye to all of your activities. Just turned a ferret into a rat. Well, well, my client is absolutely not a police informer. So? Interview continued. How long were they operating out of that house? Not long, a month tops. And where were they from? There were some Arabs or Muslims or something. Yeah, what were their names, Wesley? Ali Ahmed. Am I supposed to know? Do you know where they were getting their supply? Of DVDs. And they never said that loads. Good quality, not mixed up or nothing. All right. Now we're getting somewhere, but I'm going to need one more fact. Anything, Wesley. Help me to help you out here. They came in some white sex. They? They came in some white sex. Can I go now? No. Not with our paperwork. Interview terminated. Cheers. You'll be fine. The sweet going into burglaries. Rita? Jackie Laverty. Oh. All yours. Thanks. Um, has DCI Gates called you in? DCI Gates? He's uh, taken over your case. If you uh, come with me, I'll see if he's available. of the year. It's Miss Laverty, isn't it? Would you like to come into my office, please? I'd be happy to. Thank you, Rita. Welcome, sir. Welcome this opportunity to bring you up to speed, Ms. Laverty. We're satisfied that there was a break-in at your home that enabled the thieves to steal your vehicle. 
the vehicle that was subsequently involved in a fatal hit and run with a pedestrian. And we've looked at identifying the victim through missing persons. There was an individual who appeared to match the deceased. However, that is no longer an active line of inquiry. Your case remains open and unsolved. Just in case you think of contacting me again. I hope that clarifies the situation, Ms. Levity. Well, sir, it's a red herring. Don't you think it's curious that the officer of the year should be involving himself in a hit and run incident? He knows we're on to him when he's deliberately taken on a low profile case with virtually zero chance of cleanup. What I do have, sir, is a pattern of laddering going back years. Gate selects an open shut case and bumps up additional charges. It means clearing four crimes for everyone that's actually committed. Tony Gate, sir. He's your Ben Copper for the 21st century. Steve, when I first came over here, there was 10 Ben Coppers to every station minimum. We didn't put our house in order. These new procedures, we brought them on ourselves. And Gates is using this mess up system to get to the top. But why, Steve? Why is he doing it? What's in this for him? some questions, please, Nadia. Should I ask for a lawyer first? That depends if you're a criminal or not. I'm a very good person. Then you'll be fine. Nadia. N-A-D-Z-I-A. Surname? Wojcik, W-O-J-C-I-K. Last week, a uh, police officer was having breakfast here. There was a mugging outside and he intervened. I remember. Does he regularly receive free meals? No, he never came in before. Some officers make sure everyone knows they're in the job. Fishing for special treatment. They were quiet, no trouble. He was with someone? Yes. Another police officer? I don't know, but she didn't do anything to stop the mugging, like he did. A woman? Yes. 
young, old, attractive. You mean, do I think she was his girlfriend? Was she? Is it a problem for policemen in this country to have girlfriends? It depends who the girl is. She mustn't be a criminal? Exactly. Or a witness? Um, do you remember the woman well enough to give me a description? Tall, slim, dark hair, mid-forties, well-dressed. So your new boyfriend's ex-girlfriend's been on Facebook calling you a slag. I want that done. I've got loads I could be doing. Excuse me. Control have just picked up a silent alarm going off at Kingsgate Canal side. Well, I haven't even done MG11 yet. Or did it all be all over me? Where's Reynolds? Oh, sick. Peterson? On a call. Well, this is a CS. I have to take the new boy. So what's CS? Control strategy crime. This week it's burglary dash dwellings. Next week we'll be told to ignore them. He's bound to have legged it by now. Right, let's, let's give it the once over, though. Mate, look, don't be a pillar. Come on, get back! I'm warning you! Get back, the pair of you! I'll do it! I'm warning you! He's on summit. Just just stay calm, okay? Look, you, you don't need to do this. That is so many more forms to fill in. Broke his jaw as well, did you, Kaz? Uh huh. You my guess, Sarge. Lee, I'm Detective Sergeant Johnson. Lee? Lee! Well, what do you want? Your offence today took place in one of our control strategy hotspots. 
Unfortunately for you, that means that when you're discharged, we'll be obliged to charge you with the full force of the law. Oh, yeah, I'm having a brilliant day, me, innit? But what will help you enormously when it comes to sentencing is if you agree for other offences to be taken into consideration. See, I see. Oh, nice one. Yeah, I don't want prison. I've got Benidorm booked. There was a house burgled in Edge Park. Yeah, I did that. Lock up garages in Moss Heath. Yeah, that was me, yeah. Hairdressers in Moss Heath. Did that, yeah. House burglary in Edge Park. Yeah, Edge Park. Burglary, another one in Moss Heath. Moss Heath. Hotel in Borough Grove. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shop in Borough Grove. Shop Borough Grove, yeah. Outstanding work, Jansen. Right. Thank you, sir. The Crime Audit Office will be delighted. I look forward to their automated email. Do you see Fleming? Interview room three, when you're ready. Woodfield, please, don't get up. I'm devastated by what's happened to you. I know you're angry and upset, and you're entirely within your rights to lodge a complaint. <laughs> well, I'm the last bloke who'd uh, want to say a bad word against the police. I believe you, sir. And I've got some good news. We've arrested a burglar who confessed to robbing your property. Well, the one who attacked me? He didn't confess to that. Oh, well, it would be the one from before, the one that took me telly. Well, I can certainly look into it for you, sir. Yeah. Mr Butterfield, I can see that you don't want frontline officers tied to desks while your attacker's still out there. You have no idea of the hours, days of admin required to process a complaint. Give us the chance to work for you instead. Thank you. Someone will be along to see you shortly. Oh, hi, sir. Hiya. I'm going to talk to Uniform. Put a priority on this bloke the next time you triple nines. Oh, would you, sir? Part of my team now, Kate. Means I don't stand by and let you carry something like this on your own. Well, thank you, sir. Well, I see what the highest detection rate in the region buys you. You better crack these murders or I'll be trading her in for a reliant robin. <laughs> best job of cars, best job of phones and computers. Must have been hard getting on this squad. For a while it was touch and go whether I'd ever get out from behind a desk. What happened, Nigel? If you don't mind me asking. I took a bullet from one of the lads. Really? <laughs> you think about throwing in the towel, retiring. Tony gave me back my motivation. He's a good man. You remember that. Wesley referred to a large supply of drugs in little white sacks. Whoever killed them appears to have stolen the stash. Or maybe it's just really well hidden, and no one's found it yet. Never saw your motor outside. It's parked across the street, Nigel. Oh? You seeing what I'm seeing? I am, sir. Find it. Nigel, get a search team in here. What now? Or... Here now, please. Cheers, mate. All right. We're gonna need something sharp. Get the rest of these up. <laughs> well, we won't be able to use Nigel then, will we, sir? Slow but sure sometimes wins the race, Kate. Did you bring me into the squad for the same reason? Not following you. Well, I'm more than just another tick of the diversity box. 
Somebody said something they shouldn't. Well, it doesn't matter what other people say. It's what you say. I say you're a good detective. Which is rare, seeing as no one bothers training you lot anymore. But that's not the whole reason you appointed me, is that? You're a good detective. Hilton's the one who cares about ticking boxes. I care about cracking cases. Yeah, me too, sir. Only copies of all the original documentation relating to a hit and run crime number G8 9635. Just get a photo, Dot. <laughs> 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 hey, do you think AC12 have targets too? Because that toss is only going to hit someone else's. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Day at the office, DCI Gates. One call and you're on a harassment charge. Yeah, well, I could do the same for your goons. You want to talk to me, Anna? Call me into AC12. We'll do it in front of my Federation rep. Well, why go to all that bother when I'm only after a minor detail? The reason you took over a hit and run. I mean, it's hardly officer of the year material. It may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned. I expect you know the rest. I received information that the incident in question was connected to one of my team's ongoing investigations. Turned out that information was wrong. But you haven't bounced it back to traffic yet. Hey, I am the senior investigating officer on a double murder. That is proper policing, son. Maybe you remember it. I'll wait for those documents, thank you. feel his grandfather's spirit reaching out across the years, urging him to take the first big step. Scott <sighs> took a deep breath, and then he said for all to hear, I'm ready. <laughs> OK. Bedtime, please. Can't we have another story? No, no, I've been reading all night. Go. Just one No, darling, it's time for bed. Let's go. <sighs> Thank you. Daddy? Yeah. Can I have a drink? Well, you brushed your teeth, so it can only be water. I don't like water. <laughs> Go to sleep, please. Good night, guys. I'm sorry about having to go along with the banter today. I don't give a toss about the banter, Kate. What pisses me off is going to Hastings by my back. Every piece of information I feed you risks blowing my cover. Well, I did get into the hit, Mum, in my own way. The vehicle was reported stolen by Jackie Laverty, property developer. She came to the station. They talked. Something felt odd. During breakfast, Kate, Gates was with a woman in the cafe. Described as tall, slim, dark hair. And you think she's his girlfriend? Well, she doesn't appear in his statement. She's not named as a witness. Oh, let's suppose Jackie Laverty is Gates' bit on the side. She goes to him, damsel in distress about this hit and run. And needs him to make sure no one challenges her alibi. Well, minimum, that's perverting the course of justice. Anything on the victim? No. No idea yet. I'm going to start working on it and getting everything on her. <sighs> OK. Night. Yeah, see ya. Bad dream. But she 
she's off now. Hello? I didn't think you'd pick up. I had a message all prepared. I was... I was gonna say how sorry I was about coming to the station. I had to see you, Tony. That bloke... the one that jumped out in front of your car on the dark country lane... he just happened to be your bloody accountant, did he? Christ's sake, Jackie. Let me explain, please. Yeah. What do you take me for? Oh, having you back in my life after all these years. Now I'm losing you all over again. You're all I think about. I'm thinking about you now, Tony. Thinking about what I let you do to me. Are you thinking about what I let you do? You know, I'd do anything you ask. Anything. Nothing's off limits for you and me, Tony, nothing. I know what we do is wrong. giving Gurdjit a lift home. I started telling him about my plans to expand and that he wasn't in those plans. He, he flipped. I thought he was going to attack me. I, I, I panicked, Tony. I, I never meant to hurt him. Why would I? would believe me.
Because of me? Maybe. No one knows, do they? No. Not even your wife. <gasps> Tony, the last thing I want is for this to hurt you or your family. to the Borough Grove Estate. Well, one of these kids in school. Where have you been the last 20 years? Well, we've surrendered the streets. For want to run it. Try and enjoy it, mate. I said I could call and you'd send someone round straight away. Uh, Whoa, where'd you get those trainers, bad? Don't get lost, rude boy. Whoa, Wesley. Oh, have some blood clot respect. Whoa, 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 chill, man. Someone wants to speak to you. Hello. Arsehole. Yo, Tommy. Dealing with them Arabs. Yo, Tommy, I'd never disrespect you, Don. Them Arabs lost their fingers. You give the kid your score. If it doesn't get to me by tonight, you'll go the same way they did. Your ass smells better than it's better piss, you old bastard. Hey! Oh, God! Oh, it's your back! Get out of the way! Yeah! Yeah! Enough! Get out of the way! Get out Get off him! Get off him! Get off him! Get off him! Calm down! Fucking whacked me! We got what was coming! Hold him done for whacking me! Have a fucking swearing in that! I never assaulted him. I just walloped him, that's all. Oi, stupid old bastard! Shut up, you! Mr. Butterfield, oh, I'm very sorry, but I have no choice. But under guidelines stipulating the Public Order Act, I have no choice but to arrest you for assault. Turn your pockets up, Kaz. Really? Oi! Oi! Get back to the vehicle! What the hell are you playing at, Simon? This is a bog. We don't ever leave the vehicle.
Idiot! Are you the proprietor of this hairdressing business, sir? Manager. Our chief stylist. What do you want? I'm following up on a burglary that occurred some weeks ago. I understand these premises are owned by Laverty Holdings. Sure. Do you know Miss Laverty? She's the owner. Yeah. Blonde. Big lady. That's her? Anything else? No. So what's the twat been up to? Deepak? I'm a little bit nervous about spying, sir, on AC. Of course you are. And that's why I really appreciate you doing this for me. Because we're all in this together. Not exactly, sir. You mean he's my problem and mine alone? I don't mean that. Because we're a team, Deepak. And that should mean something to you. Of course it is, sir. Because if you want out, son, there's plenty in line. Just checking out the hairdressers on the box, sir. It's a burglary TIC. That's it. There's something wrong, sir. No. It's all good. Cheers, mate. These units are available right now, yes? Absolutely, yes. We've got the cash flow for immediate uptake for 15% of the asking price. 15? Mark, could you find out what the gentleman in this is? You already have four units at a discounted price. Yes. No, help you, mate. Don't you think that gives me a bit more leverage for some understanding? Excuse me, could you just give me a moment, please? No, it's OK. Ms. Laverty? Yes. Detective Sergeant Steve Arnett. You're here to declare an interest in commercial units. How can I help you? You must be doing well for yourself, given the economic climate. We've made shrewd investments. 60 billion quid. S excuse me? Estimated annual revenue from white collar crime. 20 times the cost of conventional robbery. Am I being accused of something? A month ago, your hairdressing business in Moss Heath was burgled. We only own those premises. The business operating there is an independent commercial entity. Well, when I questioned him earlier today, the manager of the salon indicated there was a direct business relationship with you personally. Unfortunately, he didn't seem to know you from Adam. Why should he know me? That's true. You have dozens of these places, don't you? And today, you appear to be taking an interest in market units. Maybe you'd like to discuss this somewhere less public. I'm very happy to cooperate with your investigation, but as this is a commercially sensitive area, I'd prefer my solicitor was present to verify all the small details. Are you familiar with the term captive business? Services paid for in cash with no paper trail are ideal. Earnings from illegal activities can be hidden through the books of salons, market stalls and so forth. All the money goes to the bank and bingo. It's clean. I'm in the middle of an important meeting. Laundered money finds its way back to criminal interests while the launder takes his cup, or hers. Like I said, I'm happy to cooperate. As you were when your stolen vehicle was used in a hit and run. Yes. The officer in charge of that case, Detective Chief Inspector Tony Gates. Do you know him? I met him briefly at the police station. That's the extent of your relationship. See, I have a witness to your breakfast in Kingsgate the morning before your car was stolen. Ms. Laverty, the Lieutenant Anti-Corruption Unit 12. 
located at this address with your solicitor at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning to be interviewed under police caution by myself and my superior, Superintendent Hastings. If you do not have a solicitor, one will be appointed for you. I'm not arresting you at this time, but if you fail to attend, a warrant will be issued for your arrest. Do you understand, Miss Leverty? set the date to reopen the inquest in the Kareem Ali shooting, you're going to be asked to testify. Only to be expected. But the firearms officers are revisiting their statements. They're saying you sent them to the wrong flat. I'm fighting your corner. But this can't not affect your position here, Steve. We're going over the Greek Lane files again, sir. We'll do it tomorrow, OK? Yeah, well, what about the duty super? Did you get to sign off on the extra forensics? Dresses, Jackie. The flea pit over at Moss Heath. You might as well have hung up a sign saying, Launder your drug money here. You stupid bloody bitch. Tony, please listen to me. The accountant found out about it, didn't he? Tony, please. No, he saw the dirty money going through the books and he decided to talk. So you lured him out to the country and then you ran the poor bugger over. Tony, didn't you? please listen. You know, I'm not some 25 year old, all right? That's wet behind the ears. That was the sap that fell for all of your lies. They weren't lies. I loved Andrew. No, you loved his money. No, no, I know that I've hurt you, but I haven't made it up to you. Jacqueline Leverty, I'm arresting you for manslaughter. And you do no, not have Tony. to say anything. No, Tony, no. I'll you the case <laughs> if you do not oh, when questioning me. something that you later rely Please, no, on don't. in court. And don't anything you do say, oh, no, no, maybe you no, use evidence no. against no, you. Please don't do this. Please don't do this. No, please don't do this. Hey, this is happening, Jane. Please don't okay? do this. Okay? Please, please. Come on. Ah. I never told 
He questioned me today. Dear Sonnet. He's putting it all together, but it's you he's after, Tony, not me. I was on a dark lane in fear of my life. I'll be acquitted. I'll be free, but you... You'll go to prison. What's that like, Tony, for a policeman? On the special wing with all the psychos and the pedophiles. It's never gonna happen. Your wife will know about us. Your daughters. Don't talk about my kids. It's not your future or mine, it's theirs. went off in a weird mood earlier. No one knows where he is. I can't track him down without raising suspicions. Call me when you get this, Steve. Right, let's clear the area. Home now, girls. He's kitchen looking at me. It's the way she'll be in bed. Jesus, it's a school night. Kide? What? You never came in for that follow-up interview. I'm not bothered about that slag anymore. You're dropping the charges. Hey, result. Result my ass. It's a six-page form to convert it to a non-crime crime number. Home now! <laughs> well, Mr. May one hell of a racket. And are you not seeing anything? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what not? Oh, we know who killed him. The same outfit that killed the two dealers. Yeah. Have you called Tony? That's a message on his mobile. I'm going to call him at home. Easy. We don't want to go waking his missus now, do are we? Are you kidding? No, I'm not. Right. Let's just break these like off. I'm more like to talk on the QT. Right, Jonesy, you give us a hand, get this lot off to bed. Come on, everyone, that's about enough for you. Thank you. This is the most entertainment we have. Oh, don't do that. Arnie. Oh, for Christ's sake, Steve, where are you? I think Dot and Morton are covering for Gates. He's got a bit of Jackie Love to his right now. Get over there. I'm sorry, I... I can't do this. You're a witness. I'm sorry.
Did you hear the security gate? Police! 